There's been speculation over the future role of ex-Army Chief General Sir Richard Dannett for a while. Now it appears he's to be the latest Tory recruit, with David Cameron due to unveil his new appointment at his party's conference tomorrow. He is someone I do admire. I've spoken to him on a number of, of occasions. Uh, I know very much what he says. I think he has given great public service, and yes, I think he has more service to give. Exactly what Sir Richard has to give is to be confirmed in tomorrow's announcement, but he's expected to become an advisor to the Tories on defence issues. The former chief of the general staff's been embroiled in a bitter row with Downing Street over troop levels in Afghanistan, confirming this week that Gordon Brown previously refused requests to bolster numbers by an extra 2,000, as he viewed the move as too expensive. But the man who stepped down from the army over the summer fueled rumours about his future today by saying he'd theoretically be interested in joining the government. Well, that's exactly what Shadow Home Secretary Chris Grayling apparently thought he was doing after saying he hoped General Dannett's appointment was not a political gimmick, seemingly under the impression it was Gordon Brown, not David Cameron, who was offering the general the job. Mr Grayling later said he was delighted by the appointment and blamed a misunderstanding for his earlier comments admitting they were a bit embarrassing, really. Sir Richard would have a job winning over the public about Afghanistan. A poll marking the eighth anniversary of the start of the conflict reveals over half of Britons are opposed to UK military operations there. The recent number of casualties in the region can't have helped popular opinion. So far, 220 have died, 83 this year. The latest soldier to be killed there was named earlier as guardsman Jamie Janes of 1st Battalion, the Grenadier Guards. He was killed while on foot patrol in Helmand on Monday.